all right guys right now Imo state is a hell as um visitors to Imo state are totally stranded as according to information opo zadima has fully booked all the entire hotel in Imo state and visitors cannot make any booking right now you can't even order for a reservation you can't even place a booking right now. And those people that came are already frustrated already. So, and you know, it's four days to election. So people are asking, why we hope that they might go this length to do this sort of uh, thing? People are totally frustrated. They don't know what to do right now. So I want you to watch, just watch this video. You see the moment um, visitors to, to Imo State, these are federal government officials. You know, coming in to celebrate Federal Government Girls College anniversary, but they are stranded, frustrated and stranded as they cannot make any booking. Watch this video and then after that we'll be back. A very unfortunate incident no, no, is taking place at Marriott Hotel. Great here, don't worry. Where reservations for uh, for girls of Federal Government Girls College Oweri who had come in for their 50th uh, global reunion and who had reservations at the hotel were left disappointed. What we heard was that in spite of the reservations that have been made several months before this date at the last minute the hotel management gave away the reservations to politicians who came in leaving many girls old girls of federal government girls college were stranded at the lobby no place to sleep no place to stay completely completely disenchanted with the management of Protea Hotel Marriott in Oweri. It was, it is, it is, to say the least, very disappointing that a, a hospital, a hotel chain known globally as Marriott could play this very unhospitable hand to their clients. All right, so you see, this is one of the problems with politics in Nigeria, where it is do or die affair. That phrase was coined by Obasanjo. One Obasanjo said this time around, this election is going to be do or die affair. Right from that time, every politician have adopted that strategy, and election in Nigeria is now do or die affair. You can imagine why a governor will go this length to block every hotel. Now, the question is, what about... Uh, election observers, international observer. What are they going to do if they come to the state of place booking? Where are they going to sleep? So you can imagine this kind of of impunity just because you are a governor. So people are asking why we hope that they might go up to this length to do this sort of a thing. One, there are several of uh, there are several uh, suggestion on this. One, it could be hope that the man knows. He stand no way to win this election. He is not popular in most states. There is no way he can win this election except he rigs. That is why he's doing everything possible to actually get an advantage over opposition. And now you can imagine. So the rumor is that the hope is that he has used state fund to book all of this hotel. Now you can imagine all of this hotel being booked. That will amount to billions. And yet, Obu Zadima cannot even pay his civil servant. He can't pay them. That was the reason why uh, um, Ajayro, the NLC chairman, was beaten up because he was in the state for this particular purpose. And you saw what they did to him. They beat him up black and blue. Right now, he's outside of the country receiving treatment. So this is totally uncalled for. And as we speak right now, the commissioner of police have been deployed from Imo State by the IGP. He has been deployed. So some people said that Tinubu is um Tinubu said the election must be free and fair, that he doesn't he, well, he doesn't want any rigging and all of that. And people are still questioning Tinubu, even you yourself, you are not even a saint. The election that brought you into government is flawed. It was rigged. You rigged the election. So why are you trying to be a saint? 
So right now, the commissioner of police have been deployed out of just four days to the election. Commissioner of police have been deployed out of Imo State by the IGP. You know, and this one sends speaks volumes. This one sends a clear message to Opo Zadima. It is not business as usual. In fact, we even heard that the reason why Tenebo wants to deal with Hopo Zadima, if I thought that is truth, is that Hopo Zadima initially was not in Tenebo's camp. He was in Buari's camp. He was one of those people who did not want the emergence of Tenebo. But Tenebo was able to maneuver and get his way around. And so Tenebo wants his own pound of flesh. If you look at everybody, Tenebo have had pound of flesh, have had gotten his pound of flesh. It's because he never forgives. Look at the Mephiele. Tenebo don't forgive. When once you, you cross his path, he never forgives you. Alright, so that is what is happening right now. So all hotel in Imo is fully booked. So if you are going to Imo, don't go to Imo during this pre-election time. You won't have any reservation. Rather go after the election because it's been fully booked by Opus Zadima. Alright, what do you guys think about this? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button to get this video to go viral.